Hello YouTube, this is Harvey from Who Knows Gaming. Uh, I'm back, I'm actually alive, believe it or not. I haven't, I know I haven't posted for about a month or something. I don't know, I just kind of got uh, a bit sick of everything. I'll probably do it in fits and starts like this anyway, but I'm going to try and post at least one video a week from now on. And today's something uh, different I've never actually done before, because I've been waiting on Deliverer, which is actually to help bring more videos to the channel anyway. Um, it's something called the Retroed 2. Now you may or may not know what this is. Um, but I've got it down here. This might be a bit awkward because I've never actually tried this before and I'm working in a bit of a confined space with this setup. And yeah, ignore the sunlight stream through my blinds. It's actually a very nice day in England for once, but I cannot stand the heat. Um, okay, so if I just point the camera down here, you can see my massive microphone <laughs> and the item in question. The Retro 2. Now, oh, it's probably, everything's probably going to be backwards because of the way I've got the camera set up. But just just ignore that. Uh, now, it came packaged in this cardboard box. I'm not going to show you the front because it's got more address on it. Uh, but it's, I don't know, there's no padding to it. Let's get this out. Right, so I can move it. There's no padding, but having said that, the box has arrived in pretty good condition. Uh, there was a small rip somewhere. Let me just try and find it for you. Just there. Just only a tiny, tiny rip. Um, I think one of the corners might be a little bit scuffed or something, but like I said, it's nothing major at all. Now, I haven't opened this. I don't know if it works, so it's going to be a bit of a two-part. I'm going to unbox it. And now I'm going to take it away and have a go myself and see what I can find. That's actually quite stiff. That lid is there. It's from it's quite a thin card, so I, it won't. It's not going to stand too much wear and tear. The packaging got the instructions there, which I'll have a read of in a second. Uh, lead looks like it's for connecting it to your PC. What is it? It's a normal USB to a mini USB port there. And now, here's the actual thing that I'm after. Looks like a big glasses case. We'll uh, put the box to the side for one second. That was just contained under that flap there. I don't know if you saw it because I couldn't see the camera. Now, the, you can feel this is actually just made of plastic, but it's weightier than I thought it was going to be. You can see your uh, ports there which let you play your games with... Uh, the original Mega Drive controllers or Genesis, depending on where you're from, and that's for the SNES controllers on the side. And there's two ports for that as well. And now this opens up a nice little legal loophole, and it's only for a certain type of person, really. Because I mean, if if you're just going to get an emulator and download a load of ROMs, then this is going to be no good for you. Uh, but I actually like collecting Mega Drive games. I've got quite a few, and. Um, this lets me actually continue that collecting and play the cartridges on an emulator. And the brilliant thing about that is, emulators themselves aren't illegal. It's the downloading of the ROMs that is, even if you own the game, contrary to popular belief. But this means I'm going to be able to legally play my cartridges through an emulator. So I'll be able to post videos of that to YouTube now, um, without having to worry about any legal problems. So, oh, that's where it connects, just around the back there. Sorry if this video is a bit segmented, it's a bit impromptu really, I just kind of felt like doing something. It's got a nice logo, if we open it up. The uh, the lid feels a bit flimsy, everything else feels quite solid. Uh, you can see we've got our SNES port there, and our Mega Drive there. I do quite like that it's got this as a dust cover though. Um, so if I just close this up now. Uh, you do still need an emulator for this to work. If I just move the camera. Ugh. Now, the game I'm going to be testing this with, I've got it somewhere. Uh, doo -doo. Sorry, I had all my well, a few of my games in a bag because they went on a trip with me yesterday. Let's find the game I'm looking for. Oh, where's it gone? Balls. There we are. I was in the bag. I just couldn't find it because I was a bit stupid. Uh, now this is the game I'm going to be playing. 
Rocket Knight Adventures, as again, it's backwards. And um, just open it up. I don't have the instructions. It's quite an underrated game, this, so I might do a video of it in future as well. And I'm going to be playing it with the six button Mega Drive controller because they were they tend to be newer than the three button ones and the three button ones just self destruct after like a few minutes of use I can't stand them uh, so yeah we'll be using that and now I'm going to try and set it up to use it on an emulator I'll tell you how easy it is or how hard it was um, and we'll see if we can record some gameplay I'm not quite sure how well it's going to work because uh, I mean, that's going to be a bit funny about being recorded, but we'll see, we'll see. So, back with you in a second. Okay, so we're in game now. Uh, and I'm going to give you my official opinion on how hard or easy, in fact, it was to set up. And uh, it didn't quite go to plan. So, firstly, the main problem that I had was um, the mini USB port in the back is set too far into the unit so the actual lead can't reach to plug in so I've had to file down um, a mini USB lead so it'll actually fit in the, the only other option would be to cut a hole in the case but then I'm risking not being able to return it in the future so that's less than ideal and uh, other than that though uh, the controllers work first time and as for memory later it's just like selecting um, a ROM from a hard drive so that's worked beautifully and now uh, this isn't the actual emulator I wanted to use but it's the easiest one to record and uh, I've had a bit of a mess around with it and I've got it working roughly right um, the graphics might be slightly off and that but uh, it works just as you'd expect really uh, this is Rocket Knight Adventures as I'm pretty sure I've already told you uh, the, oh, uh, yeah I'm not, I'm not sure I can recommend for anyone to get the product because of the issue that I had. I mean, if you don't mind doing a little bit of DIY on it, then you should be fine, but you shouldn't have to for a product that you're paying so much for. Um, oh, I should have had the price point uh, written down. I have a feeling it cost me about 70 or 80 dollars, so not cheap by any means. Uh, so I, I am quite disappointed in that. They may have given me a new one if I'd sent it, but to be honest, I don't really want to be doing with the waiting. Other than that, though, now I could, I'll be able to bring ooh, retro videos to the channel, which is a nice thing. And I, oh, I'm so horribly bad at this game. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll play a little bit while we're here. Oh dear, how terrible am I being? Uh, there doesn't seem to be any more control lag than you'd expect. It seems to be pretty responsive. Uh, I was quite worried actually because it's using the uh, Retro Disney adapter almost uh, for the controller. So I thought there might be a bit of input lag. There may be a slight bit of, fra of uh, frame lag on the recording. I actually can't tell. It seems to be running at a fairly stable 30 frames a second. Oh, where are we going? Boom! Ah, oops, sorry, I remember this bit. There's an extra life over here. Oh, I suck so hard! <laughs> I kept doing that when I was playing actual games. Is anyone nearly dead already? That's what trying to talk and play games does to you. You can probably hear the controller creaking. Good old Mega Drive controllers. There we are, and now here's the boss. I've figured out a bit of a cheap tactic for killing this boss. Oh, which I failed to do. Here we are. If you stay back here, none of his attacks can get you. And I think he's actually close enough, so I'm hitting him with the sword, not the beam, and do more damage. So we'll just go until I die. It shouldn't take very long. As I said, I'm pretty poor at this game. 
It's the bit with the building that's on fire that I just cannot do. Here we are, now on to the next bit, which is just completely different to everything else. It's what, I, what I like about this game, it's got so much variety to it. Now I'm playing like a horizontal scrolling shooter. Very easy one at that, but it's not the point. Anymore? The music in this game is so good. Oh, I forgot about this dragon thing. Yeah, if you hit things as they hit you, you don't actually take any damage. Oh dear. Unless you're a bit of a pleb lot there. There we are. Ooh, that's close. What's the next little bit? I really hate this emulator, it's so bad. It's uh, sort of a revision on the Gens emulator, and the original gen, gen seemed to work so much better for me, but uh, I can't record it for some reason. Now, if there's any uh, Mega Drive games that you'd like to see me kind of review, I might do a, a full on this, because I, I, I did have an idea for a series. Um, which tries to evaluate if a retro game is still good by, oh, it's a bit, by today's standards. Which I thought quite a few people would be interested in. Ooh! Oh dear. Oh, you. Yeah, and I died. Uh, so I'll just pause it. And the music stops, that's good. Um, yeah, I did have an idea for a series um, where I'd review games and kind of... Cause we're getting a lot of these 2D indie side-scrollers now and I was just going to compare old games and see if you would to compare them for the price point that you could pick them up for now on something like eBay, if they would compare well or poorly to modern games of a similar sort of genre. Um, I mean, if any, people would be interested in seeing that, leave a like on the video and subscribe and I'll get to it because uh, I think I need a bit of a change up to inspire me to do the videos again. But anyway, thank you for watching this little product review. Uh, final conclusion on it. If you're willing to do a little bit of DIY, because I can't get... It might just be my unit that was a little bit broken. Um, but if you're willing to do a small part, part of DIY, I think it's worth it because you, you, that... This way you can maintain the kind of collecting aspect of retro gaming um, as well as having the ease and convenience of playing them on your PC. And this emulator even has network play. I don't know how well that works, but uh, that's quite interesting. So, yeah, um, this has been Harvey from Who Knows Gaming. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and or subscribe. And in future, as I said before, I will try and be posting a video at least once a week. So, goodbye.